No, I heard somebody call IoT the Internet of Trouble <laughs> instead of the Internet of Things. And for school districts, that's exactly uh, what it's turning out to be. Uh, these devices came into the consumer market, they wooed everybody out there, and then when people tried getting it into the schools, I think that put us as leaders into a tough situation. Because as a parent and as a consumer, you might look at things differently than what you would look at uh, regarding student privacy within a school. What I look for is locally stored data that does not go out anywhere. Um, if I get that, then I feel much better about things. Uh, but things that go into a holding tank, that go up to the cloud, that sit there for for eternity, I'm not comfortable with that. And, you know, we've heard teachers say, well, can I use this or this? And I heard this school district is using it and all those types of things. And I guess, you know, our philosophy is we're pretty conservative and we proceed with caution. So we study and read up and find out what these other school districts are doing. Um, there are so many more voice activated things and, you know, for populations of our students, that's a really, really good thing. But we need to be safe about um, building these accesses for our kids. So we're still pretty, pretty cautious on things and talk a lot about it um, before we proceed with anything.